Hey friends, it's Wednesday. It's an evening time. I'm about to get ready to start dinner. Um, just got back from IGA to do some weekly grocery shopping and I wanted to show you the deals that I found today at IGA. Okay, so I went there to get some shredded cheese and sour cream um, and broccoli for dinner tonight and we found ground pork for 99 cents a pound. So they had hot Italian and then they had the chorizo and all right, this is actually a sausage. And so um, they had some smaller ones which were um, 1.3 pounds for $1.37. And then I found a couple of the larger ones that were close to two pounds um, for almost $2. So I got six packs of those, which that's an awesome, awesome deal because we eat sausage all the time. Um, it's one of those things that we do interchangeably um, with ground beef. So anything that we have ground beef in, we can use ground sausage or mix it with ground beef. And um, it's just a really good thing to have on hand. So I was really excited to find that sausage on sale for 99 cents a pound. Um, picked up another pack of... Um, the the hot dogs and these were $1.79 and then I also picked up another thing of soft tacos because we had enchiladas the other night and I just wanted to restock on those and those were $1.79 and then I got some more zipper peas they only had four packs and ever since I bought those last ones I was regretting not getting more because I want to can some of these so they only had four packs left I could have got some extra um, butter peas or lima beans but I just got the zipper peas today and they were two for six so we have about six pounds of zipper peas for twelve dollars and then over here most of this stuff over here is clearance and so they had the fruit, they had the cans of the, the fruit cocktail and the peaches for 50 cents a can on clearance. So I got three of those. And they also had apples and strawberries in these jars for 50 cents. Or no, I'm sorry, these were a dollar. But I went ahead and got the ones that was for a dollar because these little cute little jars right here are the Italian um, pop top jars and I can reuse these for canning and they're 10 cents so it was worth it to me to pay the dollar get the fruit and the jars and I can reuse the jars so I got three of the Fiji apple and which would be really good in an apple cobbler and I got one of the whole strawberries and then I also picked up a jar of maraschino cherries for 75 cents and then also on the clearance aisle they had different kinds of tea and they were all marked $1.50 and I really like the spy the chai spice tea um, and I was running out of that I especially like that in the fall for breakfast tea so and then I also picked up some semi-sweet chocolate chips and these were $1.50 and then I found these chopped macadamians and these were a dollar a pack but I was really excited to find those because I would love to put those in some brownies or some cookies and then the cinnamon bun the Pillsbury cinnamon bun they had the cake and the frosting the cake was a dollar seventy-five and the frosting was also a dollar seventy-five so I went ahead and picked that up and then I've been wanting to try the, I saw this Orange Supreme last time when I picked up the Lemon Supreme and the Lemon Supreme, Duncan Hines, is so good. So I wanted to just try this. Um, I actually did the Lemon Supreme cake. I canned it in quart jars or in pint jars in the oven canning method last time with blackberries and it was really, really good. So this was $2. Um, these were two for four today. And then also on clearance over here, uh, they had the canola oil. This was three dollars um, on the clearance aisle. The cheapest oil of this size in the store um, on the regular oil aisle was 
I think 340, 349, something like that. So I went ahead and picked that up to have some extra oil. Oil's just gone through the roof. And then I picked up these cranberry, dried cranberries. And we love these in salads and in muffins. And this was a big 12 ounce bag for a dollar. So I picked up two of those. And then I just picked up some mashed potatoes. I um, just like to keep these on hand uh, for emergencies or if I want to do something quick um, and easy with some, some kind of beef tip gravy or something and just want to do it over some mashed potatoes. I um, went ahead and picked this up just to have in the stores. And then the tuna fish, normally I can get these for 70 cents a piece at Aldi, but now they're like 89 cents a piece. And these were on sale for the chunk light and water, the Star Kiss, were on sale for a dollar a piece. So I just picked up four of those. And then I picked up uh, another one of these pure apple ciders, the quartz. Um, these were a dollar. And then also picked up a bag of broccoli. Tonight we are going to have a chicken casserole over this broccoli and cheddar rice. So I'm going to use this broccoli and cheddar rice and do a chicken casserole and then add some more of the um, broccoli to the top of that. And then last time you saw me haul these uh, Doria um, elbow macaroni and these macaroni are really large and they're also textured and we tried these last night and they were so good in goulash and they held up their their texture um, and consistency really well um, and these were last time I hauled these they were five for five and I only got four packs so this time when I went back they were on sale again for five for five and let me tell you the rest of the pasta in the store was like three dollars a pound so I went ahead and got ten of these for the shelf because I really really love this elbow macaroni better than any that I have on my shelf already and for a dollar a pound I thought it was a great deal and it was definitely something I wanted to stock up on in my pantry. So these were also a dollar again. So I got three of the broccoli and cheddar, which we're going to be using in a chicken casserole. Chicken and broccoli and cheese casserole that we're going to be doing for dinner tonight. And then also picked up two of these broccoli with pasta. Uh, the the fusil, fusilli pasta? Anyways, a little corkscrew pasta. Picked up two of those. Got seven more limes, and then they were having a good deal on cheese. Um, these two, these 32 ounce bags of cheese were on sale for $7.98, and I got the cheddar, and I got the thick cut four cheese Mexican. Um, they also had just the quesadilla cheese like this too, and these were $7.98 as well. So that was a good deal. We were out of shredded cheese and I didn't think that was a bad deal for four pounds of cheese. So um, also just picked up some vegetables and a big thing of sour cream and this particular sour cream um, I want to say it was two dollars and nine cent for this big thing of um, sour cream but it was the best value that they had today and it is 24 ounces. So it was a really, really a lot better deal than any of the other brands and sizes and sales that they had going on for sour cream. So that'll also be going in our dinner. And altogether I spent about $99, which is not bad. And that's what we got. I was really excited to find that the pasta was 10 for 10. I've been wanting to go back and get that pasta been wanting to go back and get those zipper peas ever since I got those last ones. They were so good. And then I'm always happy to find ground sausage, Italian sausage and chorizo sausage on sale. And that's the best sale that I've found in a while for 99 cents a pound. So, all right, that's the end of the haul. And I got to get started on dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.